KC, the block captain, and I'm back. Yeah, it's my reality. Yeah, it's my reality. Yeah, yeah. They know. Yeah, they know. Yeah, they know. Yeah, and we know. It's my reality podcast, topics stay hard, breaking down the root cause, climbing over brick walls, battling the demons, telling stories that's real, people suffer with addiction, no fiction, they're all hosted by Casey, you know the one that's got skills, the issues when I raise the alarm, they be different from the norm. Welcome, welcome back to another episode of my reality podcast show, this is episode 15, hosted by myself, Casey the Block Captain. Now, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, like, share and comment on the content, that would be great. I appreciate that so much, you know what I mean? And I apologies to the people that have been watching and maybe um, expected episode 15 a bit quicker, you know, but um, yeah, I couldn't deliver because obviously I was dealing with things in real life, reality, you know what I mean? So yeah, tied up with that, but now I'm back. You know, so yeah, let's get into it. Now, I just want to talk about a little bit about social media. I'm start the show off by talking a little bit about social media, yeah. And I've noticed that anyone can become famous now overnight on social media. You know, like there's known smokers that are famous now, like proper famous. You get me? They're getting thousands of views every day. Like, you know, TikTok's the new platform for these guys. You get what I'm saying? TikTok's like a circus for junkies. It really is. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like from what I've seen, you get me. They're doing outrageous stuff on camera for that, like, likes, comments, and views and subscriptions, and they're getting them. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. And I say they're doing outrageous stuff, but really, all they're filming is the day in the life of a cat. You get me? And people are interested in it. Do you know what I mean? If you've never been on drugs or, or hooked on drink or whatever, and you're looking at these people, it's funny. It looks funny. It's not, but it looks funny. Do you know what I mean? So people are entertained by this stuff, man. Do you know? Like, more time, the smokers will be on TikTok, yeah? Arguing over, like, something that happened two years ago. You get me? Like, one of them came in the other one's house and stole their telly remote. And now they can't forget about it. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> or they'll be splitting up with their partner for, like, the 90th time. Do you know what I mean? People, people... People pay to watch this charades taking place on camera. Uh, it's mad. Uh, uh, it's crazy. Like, people pay these smokers to literally dance on camera for their entertainment. Uh, uh, I think some of these smokers are receiving payment in like US currency or Bitcoin. But they don't give a fuck. You get what I'm saying? Because you can still buy grub online. You know what I mean? Because nerds are selling crack and heroin now. It's long gone the days are like just man them selling white and B. You get me? If you think it's that, then you're living in the past, isn't it? You got nerds selling white and B now, yeah? So just imagine like they're calling their dealer, yeah, on WhatsApp, and the profile picture's some neaky brother in some big fucking bivocal glasses, like <laughs> the pairs on screen. You get me? And 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 the man's pictures, he's looking like Bill Gates. Fuck it. You get what I'm saying? Uh, I'll be, I'll be looking like, fuck, you know, is that the new age dealer? That ain't a dealer. You know, my conscience will appear like, yes, it is. Deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man, it's crazy. Like, online now is the new streets for some people. It really is. Like, yes, you've got innocent families online, but then you also have prostitutes and pimps. You know, so, like, like you're following on Instagram. Okay. So your circle of contact slightly varies. Go and look at them. You'll see. You know, you've got pictures of children online, but then you've also got predators. So again, the platform varies itself out. Go and check. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Like, you have business people online who make it their business to talk about other people's business. So again, it slightly varies itself out. Go and check. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you got you got you got animal lovers online, right? Who are friends with animal hunters. 
And they don't even realise it because Facebook thought it'd be funny to link the two of them together. You know, it's fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Now, I'm just bants. I'm just bantsing. You get what I'm saying? I'm not going to lie to you. I'm just bantsing in the beginning. But in that, there's a lot of truth. Okay? Go and check. <laughs> there's a lot of truth in that at the same time. Man. Now, I want to talk about going to work, you know, and earning my money, but not getting all of my money, man. You know when I go to work, right, and I get my pay slip at the end, yeah, and it shows me the money that I'm getting and the tax that I'm not getting. Now, when I look at the tax that I'm not getting, right, I just sit there and I compare it. I think, raw, it's literally like them giving me a slice of birthday cake with no icing or cherry on top. Just dry cake. Not even like the sponge cake where you get the cream and the you know and, 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 and the strawberry in the middle like nah. None of that. None of that. Just dry sponge cake. Yeah? Now, there you go. There's a piece of dry sponge cake. Yeah, you get a pat on the back and a ruffle of the dreads. That's it. It feels like. You know, and I just think why can't I get that icing and cherry on top? Why? Where does that go? Where does this tax go, man? You know, because they say, oh, the tax, we use the tax and we put it back into the economy. You see, we use the tax and we give it to um, the hospitals. Our hospitals. There you go. Yeah, really? You give it to the NHS? Have you seen them fucking hospitals? You ain't giving them shit, okay? You ain't seen the hospitals. Hospitals are fucked, yeah? They ain't giving them a dime. But, oh, they give it to hospitals for equipment, this and that. More beds. Uh, really? Is that why the rooms are so crammed up? You can't even open a fucking hospital room window, yeah? The radiator's blasting, and you can't even open the window. You know what I mean? It's crazy, nothing man. but COVID, eh? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> can't even breathe in their hospital rooms because of it. It's crazy. They ain't giving their money to um, hospitals. Oh, yeah, we give the money to the council to clean up the streets, you see. Really? Have you seen the streets of London? They're fucking disgusting. Yeah, they ain't cleaning up shit out there, I'll tell you that much. So if you are giving them money, they're not using it to clean the streets, okay? So if you're saying that my tax goes to that, I can't see it, yeah? Real talk, where is my tax? Where is that icing and cherry on top? Okay, okay, you got us. Okay, you got us. Okay, you guys, we'll give you a little bit of icing in. And oh, you know what? We'll give you one of them cupcakes with half a cherry on top. You know them 99p cupcakes? Yeah? With half a cherry on top. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for the half a cherry on top. Do you know what I mean? You're spoiling me. You shouldn't have. You know. And they give you a quarter cherry on top. You know what I mean? It's like quarter cherry. What the fuck am I going to do with that? Thanks for the incentive. <laughs> You're going to rot my teeth. <laughs> May as well have not given me any cherry on top. And you know them 99p cupcakes, yeah, where they give you, like, the little little um, circle of icing in the middle? You know, pick your colour. Looks like a smarty. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> circle of ice, icing in the middle. Oh, thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. You're spoiling me, honestly, man. <laughs> That's what receiving my wages feels like, man. You know, and that's like for the um lower um lower class. You know, I'm a lower class citizen. You know, I'd like to see as, myself hmm. as. <laughs> I'm not middle class. You know, and I'm definitely ain't um the other one. <laughs> I'm the bottom of the barrel, baby. You know, and this is why I'm complaining about shit like this. You know, but maybe if you're middle class or you're rich or some, sh you're not gonna complain. You know. I don't know any loopholes on how to avoid taxes, okay? <laughs> and in the job that I'm in, I couldn't have, I couldn't avoid shit, you know. But it's funny, the more money you've got, the more you can avoid taxes and shit. That's funny, do you know what I mean? Like, celebrities avoid taxes every day, do you know what I'm saying? And they've got crazy money. They shouldn't be able to avoid taxes. You should be able to, what, you can't afford to pay your taxes on the money that you earn crazy the money that i earn if i say i can't afford to pay my taxes you could understand okay <laughs> you should be able to 
Like, what the fuck, man? It's ridiculous, man. But like I said, a pat on the back, ruffle of the dreads. There you go, Casey. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, it's not it's not fair. Okay, it's not fair. It's not fucking fair. Okay. And that's the world we live in, unfortunately. Society ain't fair. Okay? And that's just the bottom fucking line. You gotta find a way to get even. Yeah? You know, and you gotta be smart about it as well. Don't be stupid about it. Do you know what I mean? When I say find a way to get even, use your fucking brain, okay? Use your brain and do it, man. Because you can do it. All right? You can do it. Oh, man, I've got to say, though, you know, like, I'm a boxing fan. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, I am. But at the minute, I'm hacked off with boxing. I really am hacked off with boxing, man, because, you know, it's like, I like Tyson Fury. You know, don't get me wrong, the heavyweight champion of the world. I like him. I think he's a brilliant boxer and everything like that. But I just don't like the way how he's not taking fights at the minute. Like, we're not getting to see him fighting off. We're not. Do you know what I mean? Like, he was meant to take the fight of Anthony Joshua. That went tits up. Then he was meant to take a fight with maybe, I think, Joe Joyce or some shit they was talking about. That fell through. Then he was meant to take a fight with uh, Hugh Sink. Yeah. And, nah, he's... Basically, this is the fight that he's meant to take at the minute. And now they're saying that he's prolonging the contract, this and that. So that fight doesn't look like it's happening. Then I'm hearing some shit about Tyson Fury versus Wilder Part 4. I'm like, fuck that. Nah, man. This, this, trust me, it's crazy, right? It's like wrestling, do you know what I mean? It's almost fake. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, how many um, um fighters has he got to discuss having a fight with before he actually has a fight? That's what I would have done. Do you know what I mean? And it's like, these are the things that piss me off with him. Do you know? Like, he needs to hurry up and start fighting so we can see more of him. Do you know what I mean? And that, that's that's pretty much what it is because he's a brilliant fighter. And you know what? There's some actually, there's some heavyweight fighters down there, right? A barrel of them that would probably give him a decent fight. Do you know what I mean? They're in the same weight class as him. Probably same height, you know. They give them a good fight and they're doing their thing down there. Do you know what I mean? They're knocking guys out down there or whatever. Like, why wouldn't they give him a fight if they're in the same weight class and they're actually doing their thing down on the level that they're at, you know? And maybe they're the dons of where they're at and, and they could step up to fight this man. Do you know what I mean? He's actually the don of the world. Why couldn't they do that? Do you know what I mean? It's really down to him to say, give them the chance and give them the opportunity as the man who is um the favorite do you understand me but he's not giving these fighters that you would like to say at the bottom of the barrel do you know what i mean like kind of thing respectively he's not giving them the opportunities to fight and i'm like wow. wow you know what i mean like to see it it's crazy do you know what i mean because like i've just mentioned three four fighters that he was supposed to fight and he hasn't fought them and then I'm hearing that he wants to come back around to fight um, Deontay Wilder again. And I just think, no, man, I don't want to see another full a full fight with them, man, again. I don't want to see it, man. I don't it's Wilder versus see Fury, it. part don't four, passport street jacket. Ah! Giving me a fucking mental breakdown. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm not, <laughs> you say, hair puller. I don't want to see it. Seriously, like, just allow it, innit? Like, just allow it, innit? Just allow it, Tyson Fury. Just give us someone we ain't seen you fight. Just give us someone we ain't seen you fight. You fought Jay Jazora for the third fucking time or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Just a lie, bro, man. All these trilogy fights, just a lie, bro. You get what I'm saying? Like, can I see you fight someone who's a journeyman? Like, I just want to see you fight a fresh faced journeyman who's actually doing something um, on his journey. You know, he's doing the best on his journey. And maybe he can step up. Like I said, to fight the world's best, come on, man. Give them an opportunity. Give them a chance. Give them a chance. They'll fucking bite your hand off to um, fight you. And you're not doing it. You're not doing it, man. You know, and, and it's making boxing sad and drippy. It really is. It really is. Like, it's making the thing sad and drippy. Like, you're talking about fighting that fucking UFC fighter. Um, um, Ngolo or whatever his name wants to be called. Excuse me, respectfully. I don't know. If you know his name, please leave it in the comments. I'm so sorry. Yeah, he's a big guy in it. But at the end of the day, man, he's not. You'll beat him in it because he's gonna come to your territory. He's gonna step in your house. Boxing's your house, and 
if you're fighting him in a cage and it's UFC rules, then we're going to see maybe he'll beat you, you know, because you're fighting him in his house. But if he's going to fight you, him being the um, lesser name and whatever the case may be, right, he's going to have to fight you in your house with your rules and everything. So obviously you're going to win, innit? It's like, I don't want to see them bait fights, bro. I don't want to see it, man. I don't want to see it, bro. You get me? I just want to see you fight another boxer. He's actually doing their thing and deserves a chance, man. And that's the one thing I don't like about Tyson Fury. He's not willing to give anybody else a chance. Do you understand me? And it's like, just fix the fuck up, man. It's getting boring. Like, you got to understand, bro. You're carrying the boxing game right now. Yeah? And you're holding up the thing because you're not giving anyone else a chance. Like, come on, man. Come on, it's taking a piss, isn't it? You know, for real boxing fans like us, you're taking a piss out of men like me. And like other boxing fanatics or whatever. Like I'm not a boxing fanatic, but I'm definitely a fan of boxing in it. I was born in 1982 in it. Yeah. And I grew up with in the time where some of the greatest boxers were around it. Yeah. I'm not gonna say Tyson Fury couldn't have hanged around in that time because he could have, but boy, I don't think you would have been um um champion for as long as you've been and whatnot, and you definitely wouldn't have been able to do do this ducking with some of them boxers that were around at the time. You know what I mean? It's like, <coughs> yeah, man, I don't know. I don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? Just start giving other boxers a chance, though, man. You know, get me? Because that you're not willing to lose. You don't want to lose. You get me? And then you don't want to give up the belts or whatever. But, yeah, man. Yeah, that's that's my take on it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I was watching some um, Instagram clip with my missus the other day. She was sharing me some thing with Nelly. You know, the um, rapper Nelly from the U.S. I ain't seen nothing from him in years, you get me? Then I saw this concert that he was having. Like, where he's pulling people on stage. You get what I'm saying? And, like, he's pulling little girls on stage, man. From, like, 16 all the way down to, like, 9 and shit. You understand me? Like, he had, like, a 9-year-old girl on stage. I don't, I don't, I don't want to say that her name. Her age was definitely 9. But she looked like a primary school girl, right? Kissing the girl. On her mouth. Ah! Okay, Nelly, what the f hell are you doing? Bro, no! Yeah? The hell? There's no way! You know, in the song that um, he's singing, has got everyone in a trance, okay? So they can't even see what this motherfucker is doing. Okay, I'm looking off thinking, Nelly, don't tell me you've been sharing notes with R. Kelly. Like, come on, bro. Come on, man. Yeah? Stop it. Yeah? Stop it! Quit it. Seriously, man. It's a little girl. Okay? It's a little fucking girl. What are you doing? What the hell are you doing, man? Mm? Don't tell me you're doing R. Kelly's work now. Because I'm not trying to hear that. Seriously, man. The shit was fucking crazy to see. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I liked Nelly. But after that, I don't like him anymore. I'm sorry. Okay? Stop it. Nelly. Yeah. <laughs> Bringing these um, girls back to Nellyville and shit. <laughs> and the parents look like they're up for it. You know what I'm saying? As long as he plays that song, gets them in the fucking trance, he'll do it. He'll Man do created it. <laughs> this crowd full of zombie parents now willing to give their kids away. <laughs> shit. It's fucked up, man. Go watch the clip. I think it's on YouTube, man. Yeah. Just type in N Nelly concert or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, people, that's a wrap for me, boy Casey, the block captain. This has been my reality podcast show. I decided to do it a little bit different this time round, crack a little bit more jokes. You know what I mean? I've been away for a bit and I'm just in a playful mood. You know what I mean? So, yeah, man, that's it there. You get what I'm saying? I hope you enjoyed the show. Like I said, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. You know what I mean? And look out for the next episode coming real soon, yeah? It's boy Casey. I'm out. KC the block captain and I'm back yeah it's my reality yeah it's my reality yeah yeah they know yeah they know yeah they know yeah and we know it's my reality podcast Topics stay hard Breaking down the root cause Climbing over griffles Battling the demons Telling stories that's real 
people suffer with addiction or fiction They ain't all posted by Casey, you know the one that's got skills The issues when I raise the alarm, baby, if 